Hello everybody, whoops, and welcome back to some more, well, it's going to be a start of a new series, building the ZOHD Dart. I actually got the kit version, so there's, there's, there's nothing here, look, there's no motor on the back of it. Uh, it's been unboxed already, I think, um, but if not, there's really not, I mean, there's two wings, halves, two fins, a fuselage, and then in here, some mod connectors and things. Um, but... Uh, I've already started the build, um, so as I was saying, um, I'm actually going to be putting in uh, iNav, that's a servo, that's a GPS, so we're going to put in iNav, see how it is, sort of like a, a budget um, mini drag is what I'm making this. Um, so as you see, I've started already doing some mods to this, got some 2mm or 3mm carbon tube from Banggood. I just sat it in there, nice and easy to work out, corner from there, hitching there, going as far as it can, um, and then pushed it in, thin super glue over the top, going to do the same on this side, uh, and then from there we will fit the servos, uh, I'm also going to glue this mold together, I'm not going to rely on the magnets, because there have been issues of this plane fluttering, hence the fact that I have the carbon in and it falling apart, um, but yeah, we'll stick all that together and then we should be fine. Okay, so the servos are in. These are the long cabled um, 5 gram servos that are spares for the Micro Sky Hunter because things such as. That's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, your regular 9 gram servos, as you can possibly see, are too big and won't fit without a lot of cutting. I've also moved on to the flight controller as well. Uh, I'm going to be running IronAve on this, so I've got my throttle cable two servo ones so that goes into one that goes into three that goes into four which is really strange as a fatale guy that's very back to front uh, and you got ppm in on one so actually no that's on one that's on two that's on four and that's on five i think um but yeah that's going on to our easy hf nano receiver um haven't got the cables on yet for the um video stuff because I'm waiting for Matt Ogborn's video I'll tell you where I get to it in the series about putting them on and um, where he actually does the soldering so I'm not 100% sure how to do it uh, the next thing I'm going to be watching is on how to put this on but I'm probably not going to do that until I know where things are going um, but uh, yeah I've also on the computer behind me I've installed iNav so I'll get things flashed and I'll take it from there okay so progress has been made uh, as you can see, we've installed the old faithful. Is that actually going to focus? Plus, the that's an MN2206 2000kVT motor on there. Um, and I've borrowed the speed controller, which is just a 30 amp BL heli and a 3 amp back out of the Micro Sky Hunter. Um, so, that's just going to go under there, and that can go wherever up here. Uh, flight controller is going to sit about there on top of this sort of circular divot. It fits there and it's excellent. Um, I've also taken, see it sort of melt the foam there, but that side it's fine. Uh, well, and you won't see when it's glued on. Um, and I've cut out the, uh, have I got the reject? <coughs> the uh, character just sort of cut off the top of the bit that was glued and then pushed it back with a screwdriver so we're going to be able to fit our normal cables obviously with the serial be taken off through and uh, then put the connector back on it be fine on the other side because we're going to glue the wings on this um, so yeah next step um, I have programmed the flight controller as well a little bit done most things I uh, mean finish it off and uh, yeah okay so next we are setting up the FPV wiring which also of course includes our F4 board so that's just a 4S balance connector that's going to be sold on to the end of the what usually has that end on, on the wire lead. And then I've sort of butchered a wire lead here, so I've taken off the, the whites and the blacks and left just the red so that the camera and the video transmitter will get power. But then these just need to get soldered onto these pins here in the right place. Check out Matthew Ogborn's video on where to do that. Um, and then after that, we're going to look at installing the sort of power wires.